Hey guys, <clears throat> so here is our review. And the first question says, find the sum of the interior angles of a hexagon. Well, just keep in mind that a hexagon is six sides, and that the formula for finding the sum of interior angles is n minus two times 180. N equals the number of sides. All right, so the number of sides is six. Six minus two times 180, which if you want to think of it as four times 180, you would get 720. All right, find the sum, again, sum of exterior angles of a heptagon. Heptagon has seven sides, but that doesn't matter because exterior angles, the sum of them, that's the angles on the outside of a figure, will always equal 360. Always. Okay, this one. Find the measure of each interior angle of a regular octagon. And don't forget that that's eight. An octagon is eight sides. So this time we're trying to find each. And the formula for that is n minus two times 180, but you're going to have to divide it by eight um, because that's the number of sides, right? So we're going to do eight minus two times 180 divided by eight. And when we do that, we will get 135. And again, it's asking for each. Notice the difference. This one says sum up here. Find the sum, that's all of them, interior angles. And this one says find each interior angle. The big difference is in um, the number of sides. Notice I put eight, but it should be n. All right, moving on to number four. Find the measure of each exterior angle of a regular nonagon. That's nine sides. So exterior angles, they always are 360. When you add them all up, the sum of them is 360. Always, always, always. Even if it has two billion sides. So <clears throat> we're going to take those exterior angles, 360, and divide it by nine because there's nine sides. And that's where we get the 40 degrees. We move down here. Find the number of sides of a regular polygon. Regular, right? That's that important word. Whoops regular. If each interior angle measures 108. So this is where a problem gets a little tricky because now we're trying to find the number of sides. So we're going to use this formula n minus 2 times 180 divided by n. Remember we don't know n because that's the number of sides. But we do know that each angle equals 108. So I'm going to start solving by multiplying both sides by n, and these will cancel out. And then I'm left with n minus 2 times 180 equals 108n. I multiplied these two together. So I'm going to distribute that 180 and end up with 180n minus 360 equals 108n. And then I'm going to subtract 360 and subtract 360 <clears throat> and get, um, I mean, sorry, I'm going to subtract 180 and subtract 180 and get negative 360 equals negative 72 n. Now I'll divide by negative 72 and divide by negative 72 and then I get n equals 5. Okay, let's flip it over to the back side. Number six here. It says, find the sides of a regular polygon if each exterior angle measures 36. So remember, to find an exterior angle, the sum of them is always 360. So they did 360 divided by the number of sides, which we aren't sure of, and each of those exterior angles equal 36. So if you wanted to, I would multiply both sides by n, both sides by n, and end up with 360 equals 36n. Then divide by 36, and divide by 36, and n would equal 10. All right, 
down here, find the number of sides of a polygon if the sum of the interior angles is 25, 20. So this time it's just the sum. It's the sum that's the important part. Um, let me see if I can get this a little less blurry. Okay, so we're going to do n minus 2 times 180 equals 25, 20. Again, I'm going to distribute that 180 and end up with 180n minus 360 equals 25, 20. <clears throat> I'm going to add 360 and add 360 and end up with 180n equals 2880 divided by 180 divided by 180 n equals 16. All right, this one, things get a little bit more confusing because what you want to do is you want to figure out how many sides this has, and it's a hexagon, which means it has six sides. So what I went ahead and did is I found the total measure of sides of a hexagon. Doing that, I did six I mean, total number of angles, minus 2, sorry guys, it's a little early, and, um, and times it by 180, and that would be 4 times 180, and that's where I got 720. So 720. All right, next, I added up all of these angles, and then I set them equal to 720. So I did 5x minus 17 plus 4. 432 equals 720. I combined these like terms and then I got 5x plus 415 equals 720 and I subtracted 415 and got 5x equals 305 divided by 5 divided by 5 x equals 61. All right so you'll notice over here is where I did my adding I took all my numbers that were just by themselves and added them together. That's where I got the 432. And then I added my two expressions and that's where I got 5x minus 17. And over here, I added the two together and then solved for x. Okay, number nine. If you know the sum of interior angles of a polygon, again, the sum is 2,340 determine the number of sides the polygon has? Okay, so again, this is the total sum. So we're going to use that formula, n minus 2 times 180, and we're going to set it equal to 2,340. All right, well, I'm going to distribute my 180 and end up with 180 minus 360 equals 2,340. I'm going to add 360, add 360, 180 and equals 2,700. Now divide by 180 and divide by 180 and you get n equals 15. That means that figure has 15 sides. And that is it for the single study guide.